All right, everybody, how y'all doing today? Okay, what I got before you right here is the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i. In this video, I'm going to do another RAM upgrade on this beautiful laptop right here. Now, this laptop comes with a Intel i9 with a 47 RTX, and it comes on board 16 GB of RAM, and it's sorted in. And it comes with one terabyte of storage, and you got the available space where you can put additional storage. So, according to the website, you can use a DDR5 sodium, which is up, to, or you can use the speed up to 5200 megahertz or 5600 megahertz. And there's a dispute online where some people say they can add 32 or 48. So what I got right here is one of my favorite brand, G Skill. And this one right here is a DDR5 5600 with a CL of 40, 40, 40, 89. And this is 32 GBs of RAM to go alongside with a 16 GB RAM that's soldered onto this device right here. So, first of all, I love the design. It's very simple, square, and you got a metallic feel, which I love so much. It feels so premium. Now, on the back of this laptop, it comes with eight screws. Two on the bottom, two in the middle, and four on top. And all you need is just your, just your regular Phillips screwdriver. One with a magnetic tip would be ideal. So let me just go ahead and just take this off, and then we're gonna add the RAM onto this um, laptop right here. It's, and the best part to use, put your pick is at the corner of the laptop where you got this on um, Windows sticker right here. So as you can see with this laptop, it comes with a nice little case right here that helps to protect the RAM and to, and to keep it cool as well. As you can see right here, underneath, it gives you the information and it's DDR5.1, Somewhere up here, you have the other RAM that's soldered in. And I would suggest that if you're going to change your RAM on your device, the wise thing to do is to disconnect the battery. So the battery is right here. You just got to do some, go to the side and just slide this, slide the clip off. It's very simple. Just like that. And this is where you keep the one, this is where the 1000, I mean, the one terabyte. Uh, M.2 SSD 2280 is located and this is a slot right here for the second one So what I got, what I have right here. I have me a 2230 which I use a uh, adapter And this is my favorite one right here a WD. A WD I think it's 770 X. So I'm going to use a 2230 And put it right in there. All right, let's go for the RAM So what we got right here again is a G skill RAM this one is a DDR5 5600 with a CL of 40, 40, 40, 89. Let's get it out of the package real quick. All right. Put it right there in the corner. It comes with some G-Skill sticker. Nice and neat. No fuss. Now, this is a RAM in tow. You're just going to slide it in this slot right here. Boom. Just that simple. Now we're gonna put the case back on that comes with it. And it feels kind of magnetic to me. It's kind of magnetic. Ah. Oh. It's a strong magnet too. So if you look carefully, there's a little groove right here. Let me zoom in so you can see. There's a little grooves right here. So that's where you're gonna um, slide your case, the cover in, and boom, and it's closed. Nice and simple. Now, let's just go. Let me go ahead and put the case back on, and then let's fire up this bad boy and see what we get. Okay, now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna power up this bad boy, and let's see if it takes the RAM. So let's go ahead and hit the power button, which is also a fingerprint um scanner, which I, which is very fast and I like very much. Sometimes when you add a new RAM, it takes a little while, but don't, don't be afraid. Just be patient and it will boot up in time. So, that took around 45, 45 seconds just to get the Legion sign come up. This part I don't care about. 
when I see the Legion sign pop up and I hear the fans blowing, that means it's working. And it took like 40 seconds, which is not bad. I think, yeah, it's around 40 seconds, not that bad. Now, everything's up and running. I'm going to show you that um, this laptop accepts the RAM. So let me go right here into Task Manager. And then I'm going to go into Performance. And let me open this up some more. As you can see right here, where it says for memory, you see it says 48 GB. That means it accepts the RAM. And underneath right here, you can see speed, 5200 MHZ. Slots 2 of 2 used. All slots are used, including the one that's, um, that's available. Because as I said earlier, it comes with 16 GB of RAM soldered in. So I add 32 and now I have 48. So maybe in, maybe in the next video, I can add 48 and have a total of 64. It all depends on what you, what you want the laptop to, what you're going to use the laptop for, you know? So it's up to you. So I think 48, in my opinion, is perfectly fine. And if you remember, we are at a 2230 SSD. Let me go back out here. I show right here, it's firing up real high. And you can see in the corner, it tells you that it's a WD Black SN770, two terabytes. So yeah, I had a two terabyte um, 2230 I add onto this. And I also add games on it already. So let's go to Crystal Mark, Crystal Disk Mark. It could show for the RAM, I mean for the, for the 2230, it's running at 5212. That's a good speed for 2230. All right, let me stop it real quick. I just want to see the speed of the original SSD that it comes with. Just want to see the read speed and that's it. I'm going to end this video real quick. See, it keeps going up. So it already comes with a very good, very good SSD. Comes actually comes with a comes with a Sky Helix, and it's not it's, it's performing pretty well in the Crystal Disk Mark um, speed test. So anyhow, that is that is the video of how to install the RAM on the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i gaming laptop. Thanks for tuning in, and if this video has been helpful. Go ahead and like it so you can get so you can be noticed and be watched all over YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to subscribe so you can support this channel. I really appreciate the time. Now thank you for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.